Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to learn about the Winstant logger. So in test automation, mostly we use like console.log and that is mostly we used to see like what is happening. Like we can say like if it's pass or fail, mostly like we can do the console logs, right? Or if you want to check any uh, text content or maybe like if you want to get some data from database and you want to just display that, mostly we use the console logs, right? But when we run our test script in the CI CD pipelines or like GitHub actions, then of course it is a not great idea to see the all the consoles log there itself. It might get cleared or other jobs comes in. So of course, like we missed to see those, right? So if we get the console logs, everything in a file format, then of course it is going to helpful, very helpful in the local execution as well as in the CI CD and uh, execution as well. Okay. Of course, there are a lot of uh, loggers are there in, for the JavaScript, but Winston logger is very simple and it is easy to implement as well. So I'm going to take that. I will make two videos like uh, for this one just to know about the Winston logger, like how to code and how to make use of it. And maybe in another video, I will make like how to use the logger like in our base class or we can use that in a fixture. Okay, so that will be like two parts. So one is basic and another one will be like with the implementation of uh, base class okay so with that said let's get started it's going to be very simple and easy so first of all you have to go to this uh, link and you can use this just click to copy and you can paste it in your npm i and that is fine okay so you will get this dependency make sure we are going to add the dependency first and here i have a folder called logger within that i have a typescript file called uh, logger.txt i mean logger.ts um, so I'm going to make use of this file and I will show you how to code it. Okay. And also I have this GitHub Copilot. That means I'm going to write less code. It is going to give me all these suggestions. Okay. But it's going to be very simple. So that is the reason I'm using this or else like other videos I will go in depth. Okay. Anyways, let's go and start. So I'm going to say const, uh, we are going to use the Winston. So I will just import that first and yeah. So unfortunately, we do not have the import uh, now. Uh, we are using this require, uh, but it says like TypeScript. Still, I'm not able to find the TypeScript library. So maybe uh, we'll fix that in the next video. Okay. So anyways, we can use the require as well. Nothing uh, bad in that. Okay. So first of all, what we'll do, we'll make it very simple. So first, we are going to create few uh, logger. Okay. So it const, const uh, logger equal to winston dot create logger and within this option we can say like what how we need this for example we can store our logs in the file format like dot log files or we can display the logs in the console as well okay so it's going to be very very simple uh, let me show you one demo okay so i'm going to say like logger logger dot maybe something like uh info and hello world okay so here i have logger with the log level as the info uh, so to understand more about the levels here, if you go and refer these documentations here, we can see like logging level, like here, not this one. So we are going to use this one. So these are like a uh, basic uh, NPM logging. And here we can see like we have error warning info. Now these are basically, basically the hierarchy. So if you uh, set your loggers level up to info, then you can use this error and warn and the info. Okay. If you set it to debug, then probably you can use from 0 to 5. Okay, based on the level we are going to set, it is going to work. We'll set that in a moment, but before that, let me show you. So it's going to that simple. That's it, actually, the code is. So instead of console.log, we have to say like logger.info and hello world. Let's go and try to run this. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to navigate to my uh, logger folder and I'm going to say node, then followed by logger.ts that should run this one and here you can select winston uh, it says like attempt to write logs with no transports uh, message is basically hello world and the log level is info okay similarly i can say like logger uh, dot here we have like one info error right so i'm going to say one and and here we'll say some like well, some one warning like that okay it's just a simple console log Let's go and run this now. So here you can see that. Okay. But here you can see that we don't have any of the file like stating that logger or error dot uh, log files. So we are going to generate that. So we are going to pass within this. I can write it within this or else I can store it as a object file and I can pass that. Okay. So I'm going to do that. So const, uh, I'll say like options equal to 
and within this i'm going to say so first we'll say like level like what level uh we wanted so we'll go with the info i think that is sufficient for our test automation if you are going to use this for your production or any development probably you can go with this as well or the debug okay now second thing the important is the transform okay so here we have something called the documentation is really big uh, it took little time to go through and see like what are those options and we have plenty of options but i don't think we are going to make use of everything but i will just give you idea based on the documentation you can improvise it okay so here you can see we have like something called transport so basically we have to say like how we want to transport our logs so we can use this file or we can use the console i'm going to show it in both the ways let's see so here first of all we'll say like uh transport uh let me just copy yeah so transport and within this we can select uh the console or the file right so here let me hide this yeah so here you can see that this is the folder name and this is the error dot log this is the actual file name where our logs are going to be stored and the level basically we can say like error info one so we'll go with this info here okay and then uh if you want to combine okay if you want to combine both the logs like we are getting uh, di two different logs for each and every levels you can have the different files and you can use that or you can just combine that we are not going to use the combine i think uh, that is fine as of now we are very good with this one okay and within this file we can have few other options as well let me tell you that so uh this is the file name first one second one is the level like till which level we want to create our levels and the max size is basically like how the file size should be like if it's going to be more than that then it's going to stop the logging or it will throw some error okay 5 mb is really huge because i just going to have some text file kind of text file so it will not take that much maybe one or two mb is fine but just for safety we are giving like 5 mb okay and then we have like maximum number of files like how many files you want to generate so basically we are going to generate only one but just in case if you need probably we'll give like five uh, or else we'll just remove it okay and colorize in the sense like if you want to uh, see the logs as a console in the console so you can open your logs in the console and basically your, if the console supports colorize we can make use of it or else we cannot okay uh, because the if you see the command prompt in uh, windows and doesn't support the colorize but github bash uh, terminal supports the colorize okay so that's it we are pretty much done with this uh, yeah and similarly you can say all the details like whatever we have mentioned here we can say in the console as well so let me give some data so here we can say like um, uh, first of all we'll, we'll say the level like info and then followed by uh, not this format uh, so we can say like colorize okay so let's say colorize i'm going to copy and paste it here okay so that's it we are pretty much done with this so what are the mandatory are basically the levels and the transports okay now with this let's see how we can generate so i'm going to run the same file again uh before that yeah so here we are using this create logger within that i have to pass these options or else it won't work so i'm going to bring up my terminal again and i'm going to clear and run this and now we can see uh the warning whatever we got previously we are not getting and here you can see like this is the message what we are passing and the level is warning and the info i mean info and the warning right so here you can see info and the warning now if i go back to my project folder and here you can see we got a logs as a folder that is what we have mentioned in the transform and the file name is error.log right so if you go here you can see all the logs within this as well okay so that's it very easy instead of console.log you might ask me like what if i write console.log what should happen actually it will be printed in the console not in your uh, error dot log okay so here you can see it's just the console log that we used to uh, do but it will not affect your error dot control okay and by default it gets appended for each and every execution if you want to delete and recreate the file of course you can do it uh, maybe we'll see that in the next video okay so that's it uh, just in case before i make the second video if, if you want to try yourself what you have to do is you have to just convert this center file into a class file and you can use that in the fixture that's it if you are using playwright test on it 
if you are using the just runner uh, you can make it as a static function um, like class and then a static function and you can uh, call this so instead of console.log everywhere you have to say like logo.info logo.run logo.info means like if you are performing some step let's say that you are performing like enter the entering username entry password doing the login so that's going to be your info and when finding the elements let's say we have try catch and if the element is going to fail i mean to find the element it's going to fail it's going to throw us null then probably you can say like uh error okay so here we can say like logger dot error and then we can say like whatever the error message we are going to get we can pass it here okay so that's it